Hi Scorpio, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your financial abundance tarot and oracle card reading for September 2024. This is a reading for all Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get started here with some Fortune Oracle, and then we will get some angel numbers here. We're going past, present, future, and advice. All right, and then we will consult the tarot. Okay, in the past, you have the Queen of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Five of Cups. In the present, you have the Ten of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Moon. In the future, you have the Eight of Cups. I swear that's been in almost every reading. The Empress and the Five of Wands. In the advice, you have Temperance, the Devil, interesting, and the Wheel of Fortune here. So uh, it's, it's whoops, sorry about that. It's interesting that we have Temperance right next door to the Devil there. Um, we have here, because they do go in order, just by the way. And so it goes the Temperance, the Devil, the Tower, the Star. So we have four, five major arcana. We have Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Capricorn, Sagittarius is here. All right, so in the past, you have the card of transformation. Reach out for the power and strength to make changes, enrich your life, and become the person you want to be with the number 444. Four, four. That's a number of protection, change, rebellion, guidance, justice, truth, character, and love are represented by 444. Four, four. Get ready for the good things you've been hoping for. You were born for a higher calling. Put your energy into going towards your ambitions and the universe will align itself to provide you with the right people, circumstances, and resources to make things happen. So I feel like they're saying you're on the right path, okay? So it does feel like something happened here. If you interviewed for a job and didn't hear anything and then followed up and found out you didn't get it, or a housing situation, it feels like what seemed to be promised to you didn't get delivered. That's how I get this in the past. That Queen of Swords, though, she's known pain, she's known trauma and drama and all the things, but she's here to look forward. So she, when something happens, it's telling you to kind of shake it off, but learn the lesson. So if there was something about it that at the time you didn't fully trust, Listen to that intuition. Listen to that small voice within, that small, still voice within. That's guidance. And so with that four of swords, fours are about balance. They're about the security. They're about discipline, all the things. But I do want to say with that four of swords, if there was a lack of communication and it seemed like you had to go out and get the information I do feel like they're representing that here. And the information was disappointing with the Five of Cups. I mean, that is not a let's celebrate uh, outcome. However, the reading does improve greatly. So in the present information, or present cards, however you want to say that, you've got the card of love. Love surrounds all your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life with the card of 1551, 1551. Hold your vision, manifestation, abundance, money, dreams, vision, and prosperity. It's all yours. Focus on the good and maintain your concentration on the outcomes you desire. It's time to put your faith and your time into your ideas and pursue your goals with all your might. You have such a beautiful, courageous, and brave spirit. So they're telling you, don't let anything hold you back there. You keep moving forward, but be in the alignment of the energy with love in all things, even when you're sitting in traffic, okay, and it's frustrating. Really be in the place of letting go with love. I do feel like you have information that comes in. You have it, too, with the energy of the wheel. But the moon tells you there's more going on 
behind the scenes. Now, if you did get passed over for something, I feel like you'll have a second opportunity and it's going to be up to you if you want to take it or not. You might have leverage too if they pass you over and then they come back around with a job offer or some kind of a living situation where you say, well, you know, I'd be willing to sign a contract to build a house, but you need to put in some landscaping. One of those where I feel like it's about leverage. That queen of pentacles is extremely savvy with money. So I feel like you're going to have a real eye for it. Now, if somebody's learning a, a foreign language, I heard you're going to have an ear for it. Um, I, I don't know, but if you are, it's paying off. And so with the Ten of Cups energy, it's that rainbow after the storm. So whatever was disappointing, I feel like you're coming out even better in the long run. Again, if it was something like even a trip being canceled or delayed, like you're going to get some kind of voucher. And with the Ten of Cups, it's going to put you in a better situation than you would have been originally. Even though sometimes it's a headache at the end, it's like, well, that might have been worth a little bit of inconvenience. So with the energy of the moon, it's a new cycle beginning and it's gifts being brought in. I feel like you're going to be, I heard remunerated, you're going to be compensated for your, what feels like a bit of distress, but definitely some discomfort. So if there was something that didn't go through and it brought you some angst, I feel like you're coming out on top. You're coming out in an even better place than you would have been. So it's all worth it in the end is what they're saying. So coming into the, the future here, what, what lies in the future, right? Some of you probably already scrolled through. You didn't even hear the first half, but that's okay. You do you. You have the card of the eagle. You will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. This is where you have doors opening that you didn't even know were available to you with the card of 1919 cycles. Karma, warning, judgment, influence, power, cycles, changes, and rebirth. Karma will be paying you a visit. Release the need to control because you cannot force things. Learn your lessons so that they don't repeat in the future. Make some space for new experiences, which is exactly what the Queen of Swords represents. She's learned a lesson. She's actually the widow of the tarot, but she she focuses on where she's going. She's known pain, but because if you don't learn a lesson, it'll keep showing up in different forms until you finally get it. So even acknowledging a situation that didn't quite go how you thought it was, acknowledge I've learned the lesson. I don't need more of that. I've got it. And so with the Eight of Cups, the Empress, and that Five of Wands energy, I do feel like with the Eight of Cups, you are moving on to something better. He wears the red robe of desire. And so he moves on to higher ground. That Eight of Cups is a new cycle that is going to deliver. If you're moving, I feel like with the energy of the Empress, you're going to find that the cost of living there is better than you thought it was. Like it's, you're going to notice, you're going to feel like you have more cushion, more money available. Now, the Empress, too, is great in terms of your creativity. So if you are starting some kind of a business and there's competition around you, I feel like you have something special. You have something different that's going to set you apart from the rest. And so with that Five of Wands, where that is competition, I feel like the soothing energy of the Empress handles it with no issue. There's no problem here. And so with the Empress, she sits in luxury. She wants for nothing. I feel like this next 12 weeks, this next quarter are going to be pivotal for you with money where you're going to be making real gains. And this does show an ascension. It does show gain. It's not just staying in the same place and chipping away. You're making progress here. So with the fives, it's also about change. So like I said, I feel like there is a little bit of competition around you. But I don't feel like it's going to be too much for you. I feel like you're going to handle it with ease, grace, everything that you need. You also, too, have a supportive environment. So if you need clients or patients or something like that, you're going to have them. But I would also say, too, if you do any kind of a, co you're a coach or a teacher or something like that, and I feel like you're going to have a great season, and I know that's probably for very few of you, but with that Five of Wands, Empress energy, that's great if you're leading groups of people. You're leading them to victory is how I get it. So with the energy and the advice, you've got the card of fire. Let go of emotional upheaval. 
and embrace the renewal of the present with the card of 1122, 1122. A great shift, personal growth, spiritual development, and manifesting goals, openness, connection, oneness, and completion. So first, focus on the positive changes occurring due to your efforts. So see, like Abraham Hicks always says, when anything happens, I did that, I did that, I did that. So then expand your horizons and permit yourself to try something new. So many positive shifts are in store for you. The world around you is changing in favor of your intentions. So that's fantastic energy. Now with the energy of temperance right next door to the devil, I find that so curious and fascinating. You have here thriving in change, but breaking old limiting patterns. That devil also can be tied to materialism. So if you are moving, you might find that you will keep things more simple. Okay, you might not par down to absolutely nothing, but I do feel like there's something about being a little more minimalist, getting over that feeling of wanting things that you don't actually want, like where you can't get enough of things you don't even desire. So with that energy of the devil, if there was something askew, something that was dishonest, you're breaking free of it. The wheel of fortune is always working on your side. So with the energy of temperance, it's repair, it's moderation, it's thriving and change. But with the wheel, this is when things really speed up. Where you're in the right place at the right time, it feels like luck, but it's actually your own alignment. So good things are on the way for you, Scorpio. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.